All right, all right. We back with another episode of The Poet's Conscience. Father's Conscious. I am Michael the Poet. I'm Father Mitch. And this is The Poet's Conscience. You are not conscious, so stop trying to steal it. You a hater. Just a little bit. All right, but today we have a topic, right? Um, it's about etiquette. Etiquette is very important, but we're going to be talking about club, lounge, bar etiquette. Um, there's a lot of people out there who will be doing too much. Like, you guys really don't know what you're doing when you're out. You, it's sad. It, it breaks my heart to see you, and I feel like we have to talk about it. Right, because it happens with both men and women. So that's what we're talking about today. How you feel about that? Um, I'm here for it. You know, there, there's just edit, etiquette is big. Etiquette is very big. It's, it's extremely important, and um, not only the way you present yourself, but in the way that you present yourself to other people. You know, what I'm saying, and there, I've been in multiple situations where people have shown poor etiquette, and uh, personally has offended me, and. Um, I just ask that uh, people act proper. You know what I'm saying? Don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass yourselves. More importantly, let's do better. 2020. We got to do better. We got to do better. It's 2020. All right? We can't be embarrassing each other. Actually, just don't embarrass yourself because when I see it, <laughs> like, like, I'm the type of person that when I see something that's cringeworthy, like, you know how you, like, let's say you watch a movie and someone gets, like, shot. You'd be like, oh, that's crazy. That doesn't bother me, mm -hmm. right? But when I see someone, like, Bomb and like really embarrass themselves. Like they go on one knee, and be like, "Will you marry me?" And she's like, "Ew!" Or like, "Will you take me to? Will you, will you be like my date to the prom?" And then the person's like, everyone's recording it, and then she just throw the water in his face, and then he just crush. And then that level, that's where I get cringy. How, how, what what about etiquette are we are we addressing? Everything, really, right? Because what I'm looking at with etiquette, I'm looking at, right, let's say your outfit. There's a certain level of etiquette when it comes down to your outfit, right? There's a certain etiquette that comes down to how you maneuver or how you carry yourself. Just even moving. Mm -hmm. Just things that you do while you're in there, right? And then there's the etiquette of, like, how you talk, how you, what you're actually saying. I agree. So... That's what we're getting into today, right? Let's get into it. And um, you want to go first with, like, women or men or anything in particular that you want to address first? Because, um, No, personally, um, um, I'm a very attractive man. So, you know, with me being an attractive man, women have approached me at nightclubs. Um, some in tasteful fashions, some in not so tasteful fashions. I thought and, most of them um, was, like, Grandmas, don't disrespect me, and um, uh, you know that that was that one time. <laughs> that was that one time. That was that one that time. That one time. I, le I left you. Too. <laughs> you I left to, you. You left me to drown. That was that was petty, but <laughs> that's crazy. But um, want to dance with me, young man? That was like, oh. <laughs> you left me out to dry. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, real, real, real crazy. Um, if. You know, there was there was a time um, I was at the bar because I had uh, I was ordering myself a drink, and a woman approached me and said, "Can you buy me a drink?" Excuse me. <laughs> you know, did you buy the drink? Of course, I didn't. Um, women seem to have this traditional mindset mm. of wanting to tell them. Of, of wanting that uh, early 2000s affection. But at the same time, y'all want to be progressive and ask for equality. You got to choose one. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because uh, I'm just not the one. You know? <laughs> Heard you, you Neo. I'm, I'm not the one. Um, <laughs> if, if you're going to... If you're going to talk to me, don't ask... Don't, don't tell me to buy your drink and don't ask me to buy your drink. I'm not going to do it. One. Um, two... I'd much rather prefer it if you buy me a drink or if you <laughs> offer me a drink. Um, if, if, we're, if we're shooting for equality here, you know what I'm saying, let's, let's, let, let's be about it. Let's not, um, 
let's not let's not do the I'm the female you should know because I will I will tell you wrong, and I've done it multiple times. Um, so basically, this woman asked me if I could, if I could buy her a drink. I told her um, no. I'm used to drinks being offered to me. She said, "Oh well, excuse me, you're excused. I didn't ask for you in the first place." I didn't say that to her, obviously, but oh, you know what I'm saying. You, 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 what, what's, 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 what's that saying that women say? Don't come for me if I ain't sent for you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Let's be easy. Be easy. I'm not sure <laughs> if you was out here trying to finesse because women do that. They just be finessing for drinks. Um, I'm not sure if that person was really trying to talk to me. But um, we not here. We not here. We not here for it. You know what I'm saying? We're not. It's 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 a new decade. Um, thirst, thirst, thirsty, thirsty niggas is out. It's out. We not here. We not here. I'm not. I'm not for it. And um, personally, that left a bad taste in my mouth. Um, wait, wait, wait. So, so let me ask you a question really quick. What would you have liked her to do to get that drink? Um, just hypothetically. Um, but chances are she just wouldn't have gotten it because um, <laughs> she approached me. So, I tried. I tried. <laughs> so chances are the woman wouldn't have gotten it because she approached me. And ultimately, back in the day, like, you know how you would approach a woman? Your job is to impress that woman to make her believe that you're the catch. I'm okay. the catch in this situation. Impress me. Me, dr- me buying you a drink isn't impressive to me. Me buying you a drink is charity. <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing this. So, um... You know what I'm saying? I was I was just done. I Charity. was done after that. Charity. Yeah, yeah. I was I was done after that. You know what I'm saying? If you couldn't buy your own drink, don't 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 go out. <laughs> don't go out. All right, wait, wait, you know wait, 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 wait. We, we gotta talk about that because there are people who do that. So, <laughs> all right. So hold on, hold on. Really? Let us really? talk about that real quick. If you are part of my crew, and you, we know that we're going out to drink, I need you to be honest with yourself. All right, look in the mirror before you get dressed. <laughs> look in the mirror before you think you're going to kill him with them J's on or put on your whatever, your makeup, your friggin'. You know how girls be putting those eyelashes that look oh, like. Oh, the um, eyelashes that are two inches long? Yeah, that look like they're going to shovel some snow with their eyelashes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before Rakes. you put all that on, talk to yourself and talk to your bank account. Right, be honest with yourself because too many times, right? Do you do people like to go out and they be chilling, ah, ah, right? And then you having fun, you drinking, they be like, <laughs> I want to drink. Well, go get one. I don't yeah, have yeah. the money, so why did you come here? Yeah. Why? Why did you wait? Yeah. To, for me to buy my drink for you to realize that you don't have drink money. You know, if- how'd you get in? Yeah, yeah. If 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 you didn't have the money to 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 get your own drink pregame, you know what I'm saying? That, that's that's that's, that's what that's it. what that's for. That's what it's for. If you didn't have the money and you came you came with your homegirls, because most likely that's that's what happens. Women don't really travel by themselves to clubs. I've hardly seen that. Tell tell your homegirls bring the bottle over before y'all come outside, but don't come outside asking for drinks. We not we not. You know I'm from New York. We don't we don't give away. You know what I'm saying? We don't give away. Let's not let's not do this. Let's not do this. It's, and it's, it's embarrassing. And it's disrespectful of me. It's disrespectful of me because you think that I'm gonna indulge in this nonsense that you're trying to <laughs> that you're trying to push onto me. And I'm not for it. You know what I'm saying? And I can't blame the women because they get away with it. But today you just found the wrong one. Um, to your misfortune, you found the wrong one. And um Mm. You know that's 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 just what it is. Father Mitch is in his goyard bag right now. You know what I'm saying? The, let's be let's be let's be decent. Let's be decent, ladies. Like, come on! If you don't have money, let's not do this. And and that same thing goes for the for the guys as well, right? If and I'm pretty sure most people have the same thing about it, right? If you tell me before we go, we can we can probably swing that. We can work around that. We can we, we can work we can around, work around that. that. But when I show up and I'm thinking everything is on point, don't hit me for it then, right? Because then they don't really they don't really go around asking other people. They just keep going back to you because you did it the first time. They, like, <laughs> like, you know, like, 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 share the begging. Share the begging. <laughs> like, share, like, share the begging, right? All right. So 
another another thing that I, I want to talk about with etiquette, right? And um, I'm gonna talk about this in regards to the guys because guys be doing too much, and it, it's kind of disturbing sometimes. But we are gonna get into that in a quick second, right? We'll be right back. Poets conscious. Oh, it's conscious. Quick break. Quick Whoa. break. All right, so we back. Sorry, we back with the poet's conscience, Michael the poet, Father Mitch, and we and we gonna pick up where we left off, right? Because I was talking about the etiquette of some guys, right? <sighs> I'm gonna start off with what I like to call the whole fit. These are the guys that come out with their whole fit, and their whole point is to kill them. They think they're going to go out there and they're going to kill the scene. Give, give me an example. Someone who is, right, they got the hat on, right? I don't know what type of hat. Yankee fitted. Yankee fitted. All right, let's go with the Yankee fitted. Let's go with, let's say, a Montclair jacket or a bubble jacket <laughs> or whatever the case may be, right? They think they, they pants is on point. Like, they think everything is on point. And... You don't take nothing off the whole night. You stand in there sweating, boiling hot. They just in the club or in the bar, everywhere you go, they drink in the hand, doing this all night. Trying to get in every, everyone's background. You know, if you look in your pictures when you take the picture, oh, they in the background oh. like. Oh, the, 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 this is the same person that don't take their coat off, that don't take their coat off at, no at, coat check. At, at the entry because the coat is a part of their outfit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? These are You hot. You so real hot. You real hot. You sweating. You real hot. You real hot, but they don't take the coat off. I respect the dedication though. Because it, it really be hot in the club and they never take the coat off. That's a goofy. Part of the outfit. That is a goofy. You but respect that's a the goof? That's a dedicated goofy. He's consistent. <laughs> that's a sweaty goofy. He's, consi he's consistent. <laughs> he's consistent. You get me tight. Go somewhere. <laughs> Please go to coat check. Just, just do it. It's five dollars sometimes. Sometimes sit, sit, sit. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. Speaking of outfits, um, I, I'm gonna throw this in the column of uh, women etiquette because right. this is just this is just um, this is just respect. Um, you know, as as guys, we understand when women are out of our league, and I think women need to understand this now. This is a this is a new decade. Standards have changed. Definitely call my um, attention. Let, let me hear this. Um, this is new. If 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 you see if you see that I'm in a club, my outfit my outfit costs racks. You know what I'm saying? I got the Louis belt. I got the whatever whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Don't don't approach me with your fashion over outfit. I'm not impressed. Don't 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 approach me. Don't approach me with your fashion over your fashion over sweater. Your leg your your, your twenty dollar leggings. I'm I'm too lavish for this. I'm too lavish for this. I'm not. I'm not in your league. It's 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 a new decade. I'm not. If if we're not on the same level, let's not do this. You shouldn't feel this comfortable to 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 approach somebody like this because God, because guys don't guys don't do it. If we if you <laughs> you know you know when you, you look at a that? woman you know when you look at a woman Why you if doing she's that? out of your league or not. And I feel like women need to have this same sense of awareness because it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. And for the guys who, who allow these Fashion Nova women to approach y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got the Louis belts on, y'all got the Montclair's on, y'all got the Michael Mary jeans with the Tim's on. Y'all spent too much money to go in the club and talk to a woman in Fashion Nova. You know what so, I'm saying? Let, let, let's, let's, let's do better for ourselves. I don't know if I'm, that means I'm, that Fashion Nova will ever want to. Partner with us because you, <laughs> no, you, no, you just disrespected. No, no, nah. You know what I'm saying? But Tiana can partner with us. Shout out Tiana. Shout out Tiana. But you know what I'm saying? This Tiana. is this is this is shout out Tiana. We love you. But this is um this is this is ridiculous. Let's 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 be better. Let's be better, fellas. All right. Well, you know what? I want to talk about another type of dude, guy that we see in the club, right? And at first, you might get caught off guard, right? But I need everyone to remember this guy. Because I think everyone has seen him, but we just don't know what to call him. Does everyone remember Brainy from Hey Arnold? I don't remember Brainy. I remember Brainy Gerald, though. Gerald was fleet. Shout out to Gerald. But Brainy was the dude 
that always was chasing after Helga. And he would be in the background oh, the like ball. he'd be like <sighs> he'd, be breathing, <laughs> he'd be breathing down heavy. <sighs> <laughs> that dude I remember, yeah. We've seen him Helga in the bar, too. in the lounge, in the clubs. They be there just like the girls are minding their business, like 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 it's it's uncomfortable for those, me now. Those those are called hawks. They're those called brainies. <laughs> I'm they, calling them brainies they're, now. They're, they're hawks. Wait, is someone but, dying f- again? Somebody's always <laughs> fucking dying. Yo, every time we record, somebody's always t- fucking dying. Every time we record, DJ, somebody's fucking dying. Yo, I need, I no, like this, this is wrong. Yo, right? every time we record, like, listen, I hope I'm trying to you kill are, you though, Tiana. What's up? Ooh. <laughs> Quick, What's shout, up? Shout out Tiana. What's but up? every time we record, right, some uh, someone's house is burning down or Tiana. someone's dying. Yo, folks. Tiana. <laughs> My bad. Can I talk? Can yeah, I- yeah, do your thing, do your thing. Shout out Tiana. <laughs> but, but someone's always in trouble. Mm. But can we let, let's get back to these brainy dudes, right? Hawks. These, these dudes get me no, they're brainies because they just be there like, <sighs> <sighs> like no, breathing it's a, mad it's a, heavy. It's annoying. It's annoying. They they kind of remind me, like, even about like the guy from you on Netflix. Uh, <laughs> What's his name? What's his name? Joe. Is that his name, Joe. Right. That's who they. That persona, like y'all doing too much. It's uncomfortable mm. for me. Like like, we could be there chilling, having fun. We're relaxing. Everything is going well, right? And then you look up, and you just like you just scoping the scene, seeing what's happening, and then. You just see him. He just there staring. That one hungry wolf. He just staring. Just looking. Right. And then, just looking. And then, and then like, you got to trace his eyes. Cause you're like, what in the world? And you you follow it. And you're like, yeah. bro. Yeah. But like, you're doing too much. Yeah. Doing yeah. Too and he's much. looking at that one girl that you that, that carries herself. Like, she already knows she's fire. And, and, and it's just like. It's like, bro, That's stop annoying. it, stop it. Like annoying. she, she's not gonna notice. She's gonna notice you, but she's not gonna rock it's not with you. Attractive. Yeah. It's not attractive. It's not attractive. You look at all. like, like they can read the sexual aura. Like all you thinking about is straight up strokes. Like you're not even like, stop it, stop. Yeah. Right. But it's not a good look. It's terrible. It, and it makes me feel uncomfortable because I'm just like. And and when somebody really stares at you like that, you feel that you you you. I sometimes I feel people staring at me, and it's very uncomfortable. And and as as uh, somebody from the opposite gender, I can imagine that it's in, that it's uncomfortable for them too, especially because they deal with that on a daily basis. That so is a fact. Like it's, it's not a good look. So like like all stop. like all like all jokes aside, like it's really uncomfortable. And like when you when you talk to women and you really get to know them, and they and they tell you about their experiences. It's like kind of sad, right? How guys really make them feel uncomfortable, and that's why they travel in packs sometimes. That's why they travel yeah. with pairs because yeah. they don't even feel comfortable like just walking past a club. They don't feel comfortable walking past a bar or anywhere because guys, y'all do too much. Like y'all need to chill. Stop hawking. Stop brainy. Stop joing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> stop joing. All right, but another guy I want to talk to about this etiquette. Tap tap, tap tap, tap tap, tap tap is the guy who who walks around right and just yo <laughs> yo stop trying. She's not trying to talk to you. Stop like like you you had a good little moment right. You didn't close the deal. It didn't work. She wasn't feeling you. Like y'all had a little exchange, but then you leave. You think of some. You, they think of something right. You see them. They think of something and they come back. Stop touching her. Stop, 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 <laughs> tap tapping her on her shoulder. Tap tap. Go that way. I've never seen that actually. I've never seen that. It is. It is. Is really. It's weird because you just you watch this guy go from here to here, contemplate, and then come back and. What do you have to say for the third time? Mm. She don't care. She don't care. She's 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 thinking about her next henny or douce shot. And that's something else we're not doing. I'm not saying we're not doing Henny no more, but do say. <laughs> I'm not going to say we're not doing Henny no more, but it's about the do say. You heard? Do say. Right? All right, okay. So, go ahead. What else, what else we got to talk about when it comes down to this etiquette? Um, women, um, 
The way that women... The way that women just... Um, how can I articulate this? The, they get, get, the, get the governing. The, the way they reject people be crazy sometimes. No, no, no. I need and, that. And, I and, need that. And... and, and <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> Trying to get monetized. Don't be doing this. My bad. My bad. We had to cut it out anyways. We're not cutting that. Go ahead. We're not cutting that? No, nah, go ahead. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> Chill. <laughs> um, yeah, the way, they, the way they reject people is crazy sometimes. And, um, you know, as men, when women have come up to us and we weren't, we weren't um, attracted to them, we usually, let them, we usually let them down in a pretty respectful fashion. Okay. But um, I feel like it's not reciprocated. Um, but we're going to get back to that in a few minutes because I don't see some things. I don't see some things. We'll be back in a, in a few, uh, fathers conscious. Yeah. So we back fathers conscious. It's not um, your conscious. It is. It's You're my, not it's my conscious. Podcast. You're not conscious. I am. What's your IQ? I haven't tested it yet. You haven't tested it yet? I haven't tested it yet. I bet you're probably... St- Two standard deviations be- below the norm. Spell standard deviations. S-T-A-N. Watch your mouth. All right, so we back. Father's <laughs> cautious. Um, yeah, I feel like the way uh, women reject men in the clubs be be real disrespectful sometimes. Um, I can understand from your from a woman's standpoint that um, you know they get it all the time and they're kind of tired of it. So it's just like you guys have become more immune to, to other people's feelings and rejecting them, which is understandable. But um, us as men, when we reject women, we're very conscious of how we do it. And um, I feel like that respect should be reciprocated. Um, because in, 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 in my history of, um, of, of telling somebody no, I've always done it respectfully. And in the times in which women have approached you and you've told them no, you've also done it respectfully. And... Um, no, 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 no man that I know really gets disrespectful like that. And um, again, I just feel like it should be reciprocated. No, it, so, uh, all right, so, so there's two things, all right? One, it's kind of funny. I've seen women, like, like, like I'll be chilling, whatever, and then I'll see them like doing this in their face, in the guy's face, like move, and like they talking, <laughs> and I'm, I'm reading their lips, and you just like, and I'm like, damn, my son, like, and he's just like, and then, like, when you see that from across, it's like a movie. You just there, like, but but it, but it's like, put yourself in that situation. I and wouldn't if, be there. If, if somebody, if, some, if, be if, a, if a woman did that to you, you'd feel disrespected. I which, be which, there. which would make you want to get disrespectful back. I don't approach. Not you, the general you. You know what I mean? So, 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 like you as any man who approaches a woman wouldn't want to feel like that because that that's just blatant disrespect and um, is is not cool. I it's would not cool. But, I can, but yeah. but you know going forward, um, after this point, I feel like if any. Man deals with that situation is your fault. Um, you shouldn't approach women anymore. It's a, it's a new era. Um, if women don't <laughs> approach you, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, especially especially if it's in person. If you shoot your shot in a DM, shoot your shot by all means. You know what I'm saying? Don't you, you miss? You miss. But um, in person, um, fellas, we shouldn't be doing that anymore. I, I just want to say one thing. You sound like you're running for office. Like you really sound like you trying to change the whole regimes. You out here no, <laughs> by no, the Mitch for president. No, so, somebody somebody has to because I feel like um, men have been losing for a very long time, and women are progressing at a at a rate in which us as men can't catch up with. I just want you. to... You know what I mean? Wait, wait, wait. I, I need you to choose your words very wisely. No, no. You know, <laughs> w- women, women. Um, Women are understanding. Will be commenting on your page. <laughs> <laughs> you know, women are understanding um, our weaknesses, and they're using our weaknesses against us to finesse us. And um, that 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 that's what I, that's what I mean, basically. Um, and personally, I haven't been finessed, but 
Talk that talk. When, when one man is finessed, we as a unit are all finessed. Nah, because, because, nah, because you're, nah, no, because, I'm sorry. No, because I'm you're, not finessed. No, you no, not finessed. <laughs> no, because <laughs> their L gives that person the confidence to dish out more L's. And now the rest of the male population has to deal with this woman who got the inflated head. That sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. <laughs> don't don't think like that. Get your mind out the gutter. Get your mind out the gutter. You a freak. <laughs> you you a freak. Be better. But you know, um, and we and we got to deal with that. The, the 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 next person after you has to has to deal with that. And um, basically, what I'm saying is, um, pre- present yourself and and Reject act better and act as if you are the catch. When you act as if you are the catch, people people gonna chase it. I mean that's 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 just how it works. But can I get to number two, right? At the same time, right? Number one is it's funny sometimes. It, it, I can't lie because I've seen again as I said the claps in the face. I've seen the one hand. I've oh, yeah, seen, I've seen the, the I've seen the the one girl who's not interested and the guy's still trying and then her friend come in like like she's like a whole linebacker. She just come in and be oh, like oh yeah. Yeah, it's usually no. it's usually the dyke. It's usually the dyke friend, <laughs> who's typically from Brooklyn. Brooklyn dykes, <laughs> y'all scared me. Cause, <laughs> cause, cause every girl got that one friend that just got nothing to lose, so they disrespectful all the time, especially in the club when when you could, cause you know, women, I'm women so in the sorry. club, they they, I'm so sorry, women in the club, they bring they bring a specific type of female friend with them it's you know the, the, the woman that got nothing to lose whether it's the um it's, it's usually the friend that just don't care um the friend that's really just here to support their home girl um the friend that no man really approaches so they just they just got a lot of hate in their blood and there's the pretty one that's really feeling themselves and and you know just garners all the attention and just be disrespectful sometimes. Not disrespectful, but you know, just carries herself with that, with that, with that the shutdown. With girl. that, with yeah, with that air of confidence. And um, you know what? What what we as men need to avoid is getting to the level of dealing with that friend. Once once you get to the level of dealing with that friend that just don't care, you you got to take the humble bow out. Just call it. Just call it after that. You shouldn't have spoke to that woman in the first place, but you just got to call it after that. Can I get to number two? Now? Go, for, go ahead. All right, so number two, right? I've seen, so this etiquette has to also be changed, right? Sometimes guys have to take the rejection, the subtle rejections, well. Yeah. I've seen guys really, like, lose their mind and act as if the woman is wrong for not wanting to talk to you. She's not entitled to talk to you right just, just because that woman danced with you once and and you caught feelings after that one dance don't mean that she's yours she's just, probably just being nice just because you got Be sprung easy. off of one song don't mean that you know for the rest of the night that that's your boo yeah it's not yeah 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 <laughs> well, y'all gotta stop claiming you gotta give me twenty dollars you want yeah, to be in the club. yeah yeah <laughs> i need yeah, that money i need yeah, my dub give yeah. me that. like y'all be really catching feelings and then y- y'all be really hurt and then you be seeing him, he be like, as soon as she leaves, and he be like, he be trying to hold on to her hand. Yeah. He be like, like, yo, mommy, come here. Nah. And then she be like, you know, like, I gotta go. I'm sorry. No, nah, that that when yo. she when, when she when she rejects you with a smile, that don't mean persist. Just stop. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Just stop. No, don't mean yes. It's not opposite day. Cut it out. Facts. Cut it out. And and if you ever watch that guy, for the rest of the night, he be lost. He be really sitting there on the side like, he looks like he need a cup of coffee and he needs to ponder what happened. He yeah. looks like it, he, it's, he's it's hurt. A, it's, it's, he's probably hurt because of the lost investment. You know what I'm saying? He That's pro- what you get. It, after, you, after one drink, if you didn't get the number, the Instagram, the, you, it's downhill. You're you losing. Like yeah. you, you're picking up speed. Yeah. Don't do drink two yeah. and three. Relax. Mm-hmm. You should have got the name. You should have got the number. All you, that. You you being big spender don't impress women anymore. It don't work. It don't work. You the type of person they want to finesse actually. So 
You know what I'm saying? Just, you goofy. Yeah. <laughs> you a goofy for that. No, nah, I wouldn't even call them goofies because they're just trying. They're, they're, they're trying. You know what I mean? And we and and I wouldn't put nobody down for trying, but you have to um you have to use your efforts in a, in a proper fashion. And we spoke about that before. There's a difference between effort and thirsty. Once mm-hmm. you cross into thirsty, you a goofy. Remember that. It rhymes a little bit. Mm-hmm. You don't? No. You but, don't, huh? No, right. I don't. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be 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 cautious of, of 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 how you spend your energy because um you could just be wasting your time and now you're mulling for the rest of the night over this lost investment when you could have just tried to try to you know what I'm saying pull up on somebody else mullen that's I heard him but he's used the word mullen that was pretty good uh, yeah you, know I'm saying? you might be conscious I, tr- I am conscious my podcast father's conscious hate you um all right so. The other thing I want to talk about, like, it gets kind of like, stop falling asleep. Stop falling asleep. Do not come out here and be hitting the, I'm going to need you to wake up. Go home. Call that Uber. Call that taxi. Whatever you got to do, go home. Because you're just looking bad. You're looking sloppy. You're looking real bad. You're looking real sloppy. And whoever you went is looking bad, too, because you're just the representation of the people that you hung around. So, you know what I'm saying? If I'm with a friend and and man's is sleeping in the club, it's that uh, he, time. he's not with me anymore. It's that time. He's like, not like, with me anymore. Like, yeah. You can't do that. If you if you tired, go home. Go home. You Call it a night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Come yeah. out here when you got that energy. Come out here when you got that vibe. But go home. Yeah. You can sloppy, baby. Yeah, yeah. It's not a good look at all. But hold on. We're going to be right back, all right? We're going to do a quick break. This is the Poet's Conscience. Father's conscience. He used the word mullen. All right, we back. We back. Poet's conscience, Michael the Poet. And we're just going to really pick up just a little bit what we was just saying. Stop falling asleep. Get some rest. Like, take an Uber home. Like, do something else but just sitting there falling asleep. Because if somebody was peeping you early in the night, they're not peeping you now. You over there drooling, got your watered down henny, because <laughs> your your cube your cubes done melted. Is is it? Stop it's, it. It's not a good look. Get some help. It's not a good look at all, at all. Right. Um, I want to touch on the other one too, because this is this is a pretty common one. What's that? The wall huggers. Gargoyles. The, the wall gargoyles. the the wall huggers. We call them gargoyles, because y'all just be statues on the side, chilling, chilling. And these be the same guys that when the party's over, like, yo, this party was trash. <laughs> <laughs> to keep it a buck, I could have stayed home. You should have stayed you, home. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. We don't, we, we, but we need them. We need them in a way. Because, to make me look good. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when. Because when, when I hit my milli and I'm out there, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Continue. We need y'all. Because when you guys are just being on the side, being haters, because no woman came up to y'all, because you guys have been on the wall all night, being lame, uh, it makes the lit people who actually get on the dance floor and dance uh, more exciting. So in a way, we need y'all. We appreciate y'all. We do. But, we, um, we want y'all to do better. But we, we do want y'all to do better, though. You know, don't 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 come outside. Don't come outside and just because it's 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 not as as a uh, thotty as you expected it to be. Because you, you call it whack. Like like let's be better. Because you just let's thought somebody was just gonna approach you and be like, "You want to ride this?" Like it's not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. That, that <laughs> that's yeah. not gonna happen. Who's, yeah. No one wants to ride a statue. Yeah, nah. If y'all want fantasies, go home and log on to Pornhub, fellas. Like, <laughs> like, like. That's the only time you gonna get that. That don't happen in real life. You in this Pornhub? You in this Pornhub? <laughs> it's more popping than X videos on, a, or like, like high key. It's more popping than X videos. I'm just saying. You but is a porn professional. I'm not. You I'm a not. whole porn connoisseur. I'm, I'm not. I don't, don't call me that. <laughs> you <a> por- <laughs> don't call me that. He said Pornhub is more popping than X videos. It is. It is. It, and at me. At me. I'll tell y'all different. What? But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, um, 
Let's do better. All right, and there's there's one last etiquette I want to talk about, and then like you know what I mean. And this one, this one's not. All right, no, I'm, all right, I'm not gonna sugarcoat. This one's pretty bad. <laughs> Stop thinking you're actually having sex. People get your little wine, get your little like you know, get your little dance song, get your little motion, get your little waves, like you know, get the shoulders and get your knees going, whatever. But once once you start to like really like 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 they be really like doing the the, the baby to these women. Yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like stop. Yeah. Stop. You're wilding. Yeah, I be seeing y'all in the club sometimes and you guys just get overly sexual and it don't look good. It makes me uncomfortable because as he said, I could have went on Pornhub. I did not come out here to see you doing this. <laughs> you dry humping on the dance floor. And, and granted, sometimes we do that, but you know, it. it we wait. No, what? No, not not <laughs> you and I, but people, what? people, people, people grind, bro. That's that's basically dry humping, and but it's just done in a fashion in which is tasteful. It's not done in a fashion in which is overly sexualized, and it just it, it, it comes across as extra, and there, there's 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 limits and boundaries. You just got to understand the boundaries. That's all. Yes. Like, please understand the boundary. Like, and women, you need to please be a little bit more vocal. Tell them that you don't want that third leg on your butt, on your hip, all of that. <laughs> tell them to stop it. Turn around and be like, get off of me. That's that's what I'm going to tell you can be disrespectful because he just, he just violated. Like, yeah. Like, that's yeah. just wrong. Especially if he's wearing sweatpants. That's ridiculous. You shouldn't be in here if you're wearing sweatpants. Yeah, go home. yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, like going to the going to the club in in, in sweatpants and up in your Walmart out. sweatpants. Go it's home. It's out. It's out. In your Target sweatpants. Go home. It's out. Come on, let's let's be better. Don't don't pull up. No more coming to clubs in Nike text. It's done. Talk to them. It's done. Nike text, Tim's, your mom clan the beanie hat. Come on, let's not let's not do this. Let's not Stop. do this. Please, please <laughs> stop. And you, and you know what's worse? Like, like even, even I'm not gonna say it was worse, but on that same level, stop tucking like your. No one wants to see your belt. We don't care that you yeah, have an LV yeah. belt or whatever you got a Gucci belt. No one yeah, cares. Yeah. <laughs> no one really cares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you out here like showing off your belt? No, nobody, nobody cares. Like really, like literally, nobody cares. I don't think a girl's gonna be in the club and be like, that belt though. Yeah, like everybody has a Louis belt. Everybody has your Gucci belt. It's oh. it's not it's not that's no longer the wave. That's no longer the wave. That ship sailed. Wear your shirt over your belt like you would do at home or like you would do going to work. Like like, like, like come on. Come on. Let's be better. You act like be better. they act like they're gonna be grinding on the girl, and she's gonna feel the LV and be like, "Excuse me." Like, like the light, the light, <laughs> the light is not gonna gleam <laughs> off your off your Gucci belt. It's not a bust down. <laughs> it's, it's not good. The light's not gonna hit your Gucci belt like that. I'm telling you, let's let's. Oh my god, I hate that so much. All right, I so hate you, that so much. Just begging for attention. You you're basically you're basically saying to women. I can afford this Gucci belt. Come juice me for drinks. That, that's that's what you're telling them. You helping and they, them and, finesse, and they gonna do it. And you're not gonna prosper, and you gonna be tight. And then probably go to the Gucci store, scam another Gucci belt, and then lose all over again. This is, let's 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 end the cycle. Listen, man, we giving y'all a game. We we're teaching you etiquette. This is what it is. Stop it. You're embarrassing yourself. And you're making everyone else look bad. As a unit. As a unit. Because it's not just you losing. It, it, it puts a bad representation on all men. What, what, what would you say is the takeaway message all in all for, for, this, for this right here? Um, takeaway message is... Um, be better. <laughs> be better have etiquette uh not just for yourself but for other people and also um when we, if you're going out to the club 
Um, if you have crazy intentions, because I know people go to the club with different intentions, mask it. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 be out here being being a hawk. Don't go, don't don't leave your house to be a gargoyle. Don't 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 be a hater and Facts. and 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 cut me off and, and be in my way while I'm dancing with somebody in a, in a dance floor. Let's not do. That. Well, I'm even just trying to have a conversation. Yeah, like, sometimes it's not even like that. Like like y'all just be doing too much. Like y'all be mad that she's actually having a conversation. Yeah, that don't mean that I'm trying to take her home, get her number. Like we literally just had a conversation about why you being a loser. Every everybody can win. Everybody can win, and as long as um as long as everybody in the male community understands this as a whole, we'll just be a lot better off. So um you know what I'm saying? If if a girl rejects you move on, don't 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 continue to be persistent because that becomes creepy and um creepy and very distasteful. And um women understand that there's levels and understand and be more aware of um of uh your capabilities. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, be aware, you know what I mean. You, you, not not every not every guy is for you, realistically. You know what I mean. You might you might get ahead of yourself sometimes and end up in a bad situation. And we're just trying to make you more aware of that, so you don't embarrass yourself. And I don't even like. I know I want to wrap this up. But I just want to say, guys, stop going into the club, lounge, bars, whatever, and putting your woman in a headlock. Like, stop doing this to her. Like, 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 like you're behind her and you just oh, out yeah, here like, yeah, with like the, she's trying to breathe with the bison grip. We like, know she's yours. They just, like, no one, we, like, we you know good. she's yours. Yeah, yeah. Like, no one wants like, her. Like, like yeah. you good. Like, but you just out here like she's trying to talk to you. She's like, eh. no, like you, know, you, you got so, her like, like this. Yeah, like you know, we 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 see you, bro. You got the trophy on your arm. We see you. Good. you. We see you. Good. You, you, you good. Yeah. We, nobody's nobody's really that disrespectful. Exactly. You good, bro. So all right. All in all, I want to say, you know what? Please like. Comment, subscribe, you know, everything, my Instagram, my YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, at Michael the Poet. Um, T H E, not D A. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Father Mitch. Uh, father spelled normally Mitch, M I T C H, like the guy from Paid in Full. Um, I just want to leave y'all with the message of be better. Be Do better. better. That's, that's a fact. If, if you feel like I'm wrong, let me know in the comments because I might reply because I got time these days. That's a fact. Also, please click that bell. I don't know what it does. They always talk about that bell. Click it. You'll get all our videos. You'll be always updated. This is the Poet's Conscience. Poet's Conscience. No. Yeah, it's my conscience. No. It's my conscience. <laughs>